Hey guys, how are you doing? So this video is gonna deal with airfoils and how to create your own polar for a given airfoil. Okay? So let's just open the airfoil database now by clicking on this icon. And what you see here are all the airfoils that are used by default in Ashes. So the blades that come by default in Ashes have these airfoils already. Let's study, for example, this one here, the Naka airfoil. So when I click on this airfoil, I can select to manage polar sets here. So I open this and I see the polars that the airfoil already has. So the polars, as you know, are just the aerodynamic coefficients depending on the angle of attack. So I have CL, CD, CL over CD, depending on the angle of attack. So for this, uh, for this airfoil, for the Naka 64, I have this polar set and this polar set only has one polar here. So when I open this polar set, I can see the polar that I have, which is this one here. So the problem with this polar, for example, is that I don't know the Reynolds number because when the polar was created, the Reynolds number was not given to me. Okay, so I need to create new polars where I know the Reynolds number. So if I come back here to to the polars of the polar sets of the this airfoil, I can select add and I'm gonna create a polar set with many polars for different Reynolds numbers. So that's gonna be called multi Reynolds number. Now I add this here. And that's the one that I have here now. Okay. So now what I can do is double click on this one. And this polar set that I just created, that is called multi Reynolds number, doesn't have any polars because it did not create anything. So what I'm going to do now is add polars to this polar set. So I can come here and say that I want to create the polars with XFOIL. I could also import them from a coefficient file if I had one, but right now I don't. So I'm just going to do it with XFOIL. So I can click here. And here, this is the window where I'm going to create the, the polars. So I can come here, create custom polars because I want to choose the parameters. And here, well, I'm, I'm just going to, here, there's different parameters. Uh, the one that I want to change now is angle of attack, just to make the, the step of angle of attack, sorry, just to make the computations go faster. And uh, for the rest, you know, you can just check the, the user manual if you're not uh, sure what these things do. So I'm going to create my first polar here with the Reynolds number 1 million. Then I want to create one that has, let's say, 500,000. So I create it here. The next one is going to be 100,000, 50,000, and so on. You can just put whatever you want. This, these are just the things that I'm going to create now. So, so now I want to create four polars with different Reynolds numbers. So now that they're defined, I can click here on start run. And now the computations are, uh, are happening. So now I'm creating the coefficients for all these, all these, um, all these Reynolds numbers. Okay. So now that I've created my polars, I can add the polars to the polar set by clicking on this button press OK and now I come back and if I come back once again here this is the two polar sets that I have for this airfoil now this one is the one that we had before that comes by default and this one is the one that I just created now okay so this is how to create a uh, polar sets with uh, with ashes now we're gonna see how to use them in our simulations so I'm going to come back here and start the simulation. So I've created polars for the airfoil named Naka. And if I go to the blade database and I open this, the Enreal blade, I can see that the Enreal blade uses the Naka airfoil, which is what I have here. Okay. This is this blue, this blue area here means that the, this blade is using the Naka airfoil. So in order to know which polar sets the simulation is going to be using for this airfoil. I'm going to close this and come here, click on this button. When I click this, I can choose this airfoil here, the NACA, and select which polar set I want. So Enreal 5 megawatt was the one that came by default. Multi Reynolds is the one that I created myself. 
So I'm going to select this one and then apply. And that's it. So now the next time I use, I run the simulation, the polars that are going to be used are the ones that I created myself. Cool. So I hope that this helps. Um, if you have any problem, just uh, leave us a comment or send us a mail. Check the check the user manual, check the knowledge database, and uh, yeah, if you need help, we'll try to help as much as we can. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you around.